Greetings and welcome to an exclusive VStaff HRMS demo. Now, VStaff, as you know, is a popular HR management software and uh, it is made for you to manage your employees and the way you handle your staff. As you can see, it has uh, many facets and many different modules. So today we will be focusing on the claims module. So let's hop to it. First, let's log in and let's check out our claims module. So on VStaff, the claims module is called the vClaim module, as you can see here. So this is the VStaff dashboard. It's got all the items and we want this one, the vClaim. Okay, so this is the claims module dashboard. So as you can see, there's nothing in this month yet, but I can always go back and have a look. So this, this is from the point of view of the employee of the staff. Okay. So the vClaim module is obviously made for staff to be able to um, electronically and virtually submit their claims. Okay. So you can see some of the claims I've submitted. And seeing as I haven't closed the, uh, the batch yet, the claims batch, I can still go and add it and edit the claims. Okay, so let's submit one. Let's try. So I'll click on this add batch and I have to select a time frame. Okay, so as you can see, these are adjusted according to the opening and closing account dates for my finance. And uh, as you can see, I can no longer submit the claims that are too old. Okay, so let's choose this one. Let's put a little description. April claims 2020. Okay. Yes. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go back and find my claims. There you go. It is now created. Okay. So as long as I don't submit this claim, it will remain open for the for as long as I want, and I can keep adding more claims. All right. So let's add one. So this is the claims form. It looks quite simple, doesn't it? So first let's start off with a date. Let's pick a date from and to. And uh, here are the different types of claims. Okay. So there's uh, obviously accommodation, food claims, mileage claims, transportation, medical and outstation claims. Okay. So these should cover uh, pretty much most of the uh, claims that your staff will require. Let's, let's do a meal one. Let's see, meal with client, meal with staff. Okay, just enter the amount. It's 58. Okay. Meal with client. Lunch, whatever description you like. Okay, and you can click on the attachment button to attach a file, presumably a picture of the receipt. Once you're ready, you click add. Confirm. There you go. Easy. Okay. Alright. Now let's X up. Let's try. Let's say I had to travel to meet my client. Okay. Let's try mileage claim. Oh. Okay, now you see it it automatically opens up a whole different uh, section. So this is only specific to the mileage claim choose a different type of vehicle and I can put in how many kilometers I believe it is. Let's put 30. Okay. And now I can even check it against Google Maps. Okay, let's say let's say I was coming to track. There you go. Fun track. And let's say I went to yeah let's try say bang up. Well, there you go. See, it automatically calculates the distance, and I'm not too far off. So perhaps uh, if if I put 40 instead, then um, whoever is reviewing my claims might question where that extra 10 kilometers came from. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could tick this button here to double it up. So I'm claiming there and back, right? Otherwise, this is just one way. Okay, and it automatically calculates how much I'm eligible to claim. Okay, so if I had a logbook, I could attach it. Uh, but otherwise, I 
just put in a little note. Click a little add. Yes. Bingo. And there you go. Right. So let's have a look. So these are all the different types of um, claims we have. Medical is fairly straightforward. Station accommodation. Right. So it's fairly fairly straightforward. And then when I'm ready, I can hit submit. Um, but because I haven't got a supervisor yet, I can't submit it for my supervisor to approve. Right. Okay, and then back to this screen. See, I now have my batch claims created. Alright, and I can go in anytime and I can add some more. Or I can delete if I want to. Alright, it will ask me if I want to delete it. But let's not do that. Okay. And so for this time period, I can keep using this exact same batch. I don't need to create another one. But I can if I want to. Alright. And that is all for now. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this little demo session, and uh, if you need to, do contact us at vstaff or go to vstaff.my. Have a good day!